And I still remember that morning that I woke up and I thought, I looked myself in the mirror and I said, you know what, that you don't deserve that. You need to do something. And I had an offer from a friend of mine who started, had started his own business to go and help him set up the commercial part of the business, but without pay. So I started helping him and one morning he called me on my way to the office and he said, uh, you know, I'm stuck in the bank. I'm expecting a lady. Please keep her company for a couple of minutes until I come. I remind you, it was the first time I met her in my life. And she tells me, I'm looking for a general manager for the first CEO clubs in Europe and I think you're my guy. We agreed in 20 minutes. I had no clue what CEO club was all about. Uh, it took me like a year to realize the depth of what we are there for. And I still remember that the first time I landed in Otopen, I looked around and I thought to myself, you know, something good is going to happen here. I like this place. And as you can imagine, I had no clue where I am. Okay? <laughs> it was the first time. 80% of them lead multinational companies, 20% lead their own local businesses. Total turnover of the businesses is uh, more than 10, you know, 12 billion euros. There is one point where everybody smiles. Is when I, when I describe the profile we're looking for, and I tell them that we're looking for normal people. So that's my answer. We are, we are looking for normal people. And normality for us is uh, the people who, no matter how much money they make, or what is the turnover of the business, they are leaders who don't <clears throat> feel they have something to prove to anybody else. Definitely leaders who are willing to share their knowledge and experience because otherwise it doesn't make sense. And uh, as I said, people who are modest, people who are, uh, they're okay with themselves, you know. They are polite, they know how to, what respect means. And this is our only rule. The question is, what kind of person you are, how much involved you want to be, and how much you want to share. If these things are there, then numbers don't matter. It's people that matter all the time. I think entrepreneurship is the same thing. Is that sweet pain you feel in your stomach? The fact that there are some nights you cannot sleep. There are some days that you cannot do enough to share how happy you are about a success, you know, and how proud you are. I, be, I believe in personal involvement. And when you, are, when you want to change something, you need to be there and you need to participate and you, you need it. to put your heart in it and go out there and motivate. Yesterday a kid told me that uh, a student there said, you know what, I want to open my own business. And I asked him what kind of business. And he said, I want to make a funeral parlor, parlor. Not the business that you hear like every day, right? And I told him, listen man, take this. I really believe in you. And after five years, 10 years, when you have like, a, I don't know, 20 stores all over the, you know, all over the country, you come and find me. This is at the end, and during the discussion, a girl had asked me, how do you balance? Because I commute, my family is in Athens. And every Friday I fly back, every Monday I fly in. So she asked me, how do you balance with your life? And I explained to her that it's very difficult. Sometimes it's very difficult because you need to have a very strong character to yeah. step in two boats. Because you, you come from a place where people know you from a lifetime and you work in a place where people just met you a few years ago and you are somebody else, you know, it's okay, we all happen to be born somewhere. Hopefully, and we're very lucky, we were born in beautiful parts of the world, right? And we grew up normally and everything. But we don't have to live the rest of our lives in the neighborhood. Let's go out. Let's see the world, you know.